The holiday baking is happening in kitchens around the metro, but bread makers, well, you need to be aware, making bread in canning jars can cause big health risks. And here today is canning expert Susan Mills Gray in the Price Chopper Kitchen explaining to keep us safe. Now, Susan, when I first think about canning, mm -hmm. I think about canning vegetables because that's right. what my mom and my grandparents used to do all the time, and we had shelves full of them in the basement. But we're specifically talking about canning bread today. Right. What we are seeing across uh, social media, it's extremely popular right mm -hmm. now, is this idea that you can get a head start on your holiday baking and gifts by canning, mm -hmm. and so they're taking a twist on canning, and canning breads and cakes and brownies. You see, that's why it's so popular right now, is because it's really big on social media, well, and everybody's seeing it. And right, and because, you know, what, what says love? But I made you something, yeah. and I want to give it to you a couple of months from now, and I, but I'm baking it now. So oh, let's okay, talk okay, about okay, what okay, the problem okay, okay. is. All right. So people are starting with home canning jars, which are jars, actually sure. des uh, designed for being in high heat, but in moist high heat, so in water. Mm -hmm. And that's how I remember them used to, used to right. can it. You know, they put it in the big jar, pressure. Sure, and, and we still, sure. do, and we still yeah. do that. But when you bake in these, you're, you're exposing them to high heat, but it's dry, so and dry these can heat. shatter. Oh, yeah. But so what the recipes will tell you is make up your favorite bread, mostly quick breads, cakes, or brownies, and that's the example I have here. And then you uh, make sure this is clean and sterilized. Mm -hmm. You put nonstick spray in it. Then you put that product in, that batter. Then you set it in an oven at the at 350 or whatever the recipe calls for, and you bake it. Yeah. And then whenever it comes out of the oven, as soon as it comes out, you place on your canning flat, which is what this is, and there's a compound here that will adhere to that uh, glass rim as it heats. Mm -hmm. You put on the screw band, and you turn it upside down, and it heats. Oh. So I did this one yesterday. This is okay. brownies. And what happens is, is that you will see you can't get that off. Oh, that's really stuck So you have good. to actually do it just like if you had canned. Get your church key out and pop and it open And you pop there. that open. Okay, here's what the problem is. Okay. We have, uh, we're always trying to fight botulism bacteria. That is the most oh. lethal foodborne bacteria that we have. Okay. And just a small dose can kill you. Oh, and goodness. we have people who die every year in the United States from improperly home canned vegetables. So we certainly don't already. want to be giving it <laughs> no. for the holidays. How, how does it grow in there then? Okay, whenever you seal this, you put in, there's little or no oxygen. Yeah. It's a very moist product, sure. right? Because we want cakes and pies, yes. and, or pardon me, cakes and brownies and bread to be moist. And then it's at room temperature. Mm. It is the perfect environment for botulism. So if you're thinking about using this as a holiday as a gift. gift, or even to put things up for you to use later for your own family, Folks, this is dangerous. Yeah. Don't do it. Don't do it. Um, and people have asked me, well, can I do this, seal them, and put them in the freezer? Yeah, that was the answer, my question. <laughs> and the answer is, remember, these are just not designed for baking, mm -hmm. and a lot of these jars will actually shatter. Yeah. So you could even cut yourself badly. So the, I, the best idea is do the old traditional thing. If you want to give a homemade gift of some kind of food like this, mm -hmm. put the dry ingredients in a canning jar, attach some kind of little... Uh, note that yeah. says add this bake it at this and enjoy and enjoy but don't pre-bake folks it is extremely dangerous and it could be lethal all right well that's good that's good safety so there we go merry christmas, today, christmas you know? right <laughs> yeah merry christmas <laughs> don't Nothing get like botulism. botulism for christmas <laughs> <laughs> so okay well no that's a great tip and looks like you just put some wrapping paper around it right. with a rubber band and you know this one makes chocolate chip cookies mm -hmm. and so you would tell someone hey add a couple of eggs to this so much oil bake them at such, and these make great gifts, mm -hmm. but pre-baking and sealing and putting them on your shelf for a couple of months until you give them to someone. Yeah, not good. Very, very dangerous, and we just want to remind folks, it's a, it sounds fun, it sounds easy, All oh, right. you know, we can get the kids involved, but it's, it's not a good idea. This is a social media tip to avoid. Yes, and there's a lot of those out there, and that's why I'm still working <laughs> instead of retired. <laughs> that's right. Well, Susan, thank you very much for those tips, and uh, I'm going to hit you up for those cookies later on. Okay. I'll make them at home. Belinda, over to you.